Hey there, welcome to this video in which I'll be showing you how to use the plugin WP Popups to easily create amazing pop-ups for your WordPress website. This is the website I will be using to show you how the add-on works. So here on my dashboard, you can see that WP Popups is already installed. I'm going to click on add new to start creating my first pop-up. So you're now in the editing interface of your pop-up. As you can see on the left, there are six tabs for all the different options that you can change. So we're going to go through them one by one. First is the setup. And in the setup, first we have to give our pop-up a name. So I'll name mine sign up to our newsletter because this is what the pop-up is going to be about. Then you can either start with a blank pop-up and just create it from scratch, or you can choose from three templates that are available. I'm going to go with the elegant pop-up and I'm going to click on create. Now this is where you add your content. You have the option to add media, forms, and text. There's also some short codes that are available right here, so you can just copy and paste them in the text over here. So let's start adding our text. I'm going to leave my title as a heading 3, and I'm going to set my other text as heading 5. Now under it, I'm going to add a form so that people can enter their email. To get the option to add a form, you need to have WP Forms installed, so it's a free plugin. You can just directly go search for it in the plugin store and install it and activate it on your website. I've already created a form in WP Forms to have the option to add an email. So I'm going to click on Add Form and choose the form that I want and click on Add Form again. As you can see, it added the short code automatically. So I'm done with my content. Let's now go to Appearance. If I close this, you can see that you can change position, animation, the box, the colors, the border, the shadow. There's really a lot of options there, so I'm going to go through them quickly so you can see what they all do. I'm going to leave my position to the center. Uh, I'm going to leave my animation to fade in, so that's the way it's going to appear on your website. Then for the box, I'm just going to make it slightly smaller with a 500 pixel box and a padding of 50 pixels. Now for the colors, I'm going to darken my overlay color and make it a little more black, and I can toggle the opacity right here. Instead of changing the background color, I'm going to upload an image as the background, so click on Upload. Choose the image you want through all your media. Here it is. Use image. I'm going to make sure it covers my whole pop-up. Now for the border, you have different appearance options like dotted or dashed. I'm going to leave it on solid. Let's make it a bit thinner and choose a color of your choice. Let's add a shadow. And finally, you can edit the close button as well. So we're now done with the appearance of our pop-up. Let's hit save and go check what it looks like on our website. And there we go, this is how the pop-up appears. Now you can even add your email. And click submit. And it will say, thanks for signing up, and you can hit close, and it closes the pop-up, and you're back to your website. Now the next tab is display rules. So these will help you determine when and where the pop-up appears on your website. As you can see by default, if the page type is equal to all pages, then the pop-up appears. That means it's going to be on every page, whether it's your home page, your contact page, etc. But there's so many more options that are available. For example, if I go here, I can see that there is browser, custom URL, mobile phone, um, different types of pages, different types of posts, uh, where the user came from, or whether he's logged in, or if he's never left a comment. So let's try a few. 
For example, I can choose mobile phone is equal to true. So you could create a special offer for mobile phone users and that only appears for them. If you're visiting the website from a desktop computer, then you will not get the pop-up. Another one, for example, would be post is equal to, and then you can choose which post from your website. So that means the pop-up will only appear for that specific post. There's really so many possibilities, especially since you can use the end button to add another rule. So for example, the user on your website is logged in, so that's true, and he has never left a comment, true. So that will only apply for a specific type of visitor. It's only the users who are logged in and never commented. There is also the OR condition that lets you add another rule group. So let's add two conditions like above by clicking on AND, and now we have two groups. For now, the pop-up appears for a logged in user who has never made a comment, but I also want it to appear for a logged in user who is on the My Account page. So let's go to user is logged is equal to true, and page is equal to my account. So these are the two other conditions to be fulfilled in order for the pop-up to show up. So in total, we have two rule groups. For the AND groups, both conditions have to be fulfilled in order for the pop-up to appear, but for the OR groups, only one of the two have to be true for the pop-up to appear. Now the next tab is the settings. So first for the general, you can change your pop-up name, add a description. Then the test mode is what you should enable if you are creating the pop-up and you're going to go back to your website and just check what it looks like, how it works, um, and it's going to show up every time. You can choose to show the powered by link right under the pop-up. Um, for, so for that, you would have to go to the settings of WordPress pop-ups and join the affiliate program. That way you will get an affiliate link and whenever people sign up using your link, you will get a 35% commission and that will replace the default link. Then let's go to triggers so you can choose um, how many seconds until the pop-up loads. There's also other options like percentage of page height, class triggering, how many pixels you scroll down. And finally, when the pop-up closes and the cookies. So close on conversion will be once the person has submitted a form or clicked on a button, the pop-up will automatically close. So that's the conversion. And then you can choose after that conversion, after they clicked on the link or a button or something like that, how many days it should stay hidden. You can also set it in hours. And then same thing for the closing cookie. Um, that will be when the user has closed the pop-up using the little X. So same, you can set it in days or in hours and change it right here. So that's about it for all the options that you can change for creating a pop-up that fits your needs and fits your website and your users. I hope you find all that you're looking for. If you need a little more, remember that you can always upgrade to the premium version that will give you advanced closing methods, more trigger methods, advanced display rules, more appearance options like positions, animations, or close methods, and finally opt-in form templates that comes with integration of the most popular email providers like MailChimp or MailPoet, etc. I really hope this video was useful, have fun creating pop-ups, and thank you for watching!